Sup? Oh, there it is. Yeah, hey, there you go. There you go. go. I'm a rap god. You are now. <laughs> you sounded so good in that song. Thank you. You did so good. Right. I, I guys, who wants to do some trade? Oh. What is that? <laughs> no, not that song. That's KG song. Adam literally brought his trade binder up yeah. onto the stage. Yeah, just, like, <laughs> just in case. You know what they say about Collecticons? Stay ready. Stay ready. Is that what they say? No, I don't know. Stay ready. They do yeah. now. Okay, I right now. They do now. <laughs> yeah, you, um, what was the thing that you were trying to get? Recently? Oh, dude, I got it. Hold on. Guys, so Adam was had a, like a grail card he was looking for. Yeah, he was. You were you were wheeling and I, dealing yes, last I, night. I was right? wheeling and dealing for like thirty minutes. It was awesome, and sure. I achieved the Oda signed Luffy card. Let's go. Yeah, so not Jujutsu Kaisen related. Yeah, no. but not, <laughs> still, hey, not not until the Union Arena set drops. That's in October. right. Exactly. That's right. Once English Union Arena comes, yeah, it's over. Uh, <laughs> Say goodbye oh my to my bank account. Exactly. I know that's how it goes. You watch an anime, then there's a new card set that comes out, and then we're always like, and then oh, suddenly you're I gotta, poor. I, I got to um, have those and everything. It's yes. cool though that you're like in the space and a collector. Oh, it's so fun. What like when did you start that as a kid or is this a new thing? So when I was a kid, I was like, yes, I've been a collector of stuff since I was a kid. I was the weirdo that did not open his toys. Yes. I displayed yep. them in my room because I wanted it to look like a toy store. Yes. So I literally <laughs> have like all my OG like Power Rangers, Ninja Turtles, um, G some GI like early '90s GI Joe stuff, all still in boxes that I've just like also like got really lucky that my parents never decided to like. Oh, he doesn't need this crap. That know, was like, me. That was unfortunately up. me. Yeah. Oh, I got rid of it. You I were was, my parents. Yeah, I Wait. was your parents. I tried to throw <laughs> all. Daddy um, Gojo. Daddy yeah, Gojo. My son. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I had that terrible experience where it's like, I started collecting Pokemon cards, and then my mom's like, what is this garbage? You know, That's and so crazy. I, yeah. When I was a, I'm the same way, though. I have buckets of sealed toys still at my house and at my parents' house that they try to get rid of every once in a while. But I, They try to get rid of the house? They try to get rid of the toys. That's crazy. Oh. They, still, they keep them in their <laughs> attic sometimes, yeah. But no, they, like, I would do the same thing. I want a toy, my house to look like a Toys R Us. And I was just like, this is great. I just put them on the wall. But I, my parents kept my Pokemon cards, thank God. <laughs> so That's awesome. Very good. That's good awesome. for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, leave. We, I just happy. Happy. <laughs> yeah. we are happy. Yeah. KG never oh comes back gosh. to a Collecticon. <laughs> oh. So, guys, this, this show that you are on has blown up like crazy. It's been it crazy. It is like how just, I mean, it's a pretty basic question, but just like how does, what has that done for you? How do you guys feel about the popularity of Jujutsu Kaisen, all I see is Gojo, Yuji all over the place right. and Sukuna mixed in there. But. I mean, it's insane. It's, it's literally yeah, really. been life-changing. Like, I, I, I've been doing this job for almost 20 years at this point, like, so going on 18. And, uh, you know, I've, been, I've had the privilege of being a part of a lot of shows in that time, but JJK has been a singular experience, man. Right. Never have I met people more passionate, more, more filled with, like, uh, just, just uh, uh, appreciation and love for 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 this product. Um, it's been unbelievable, and still probably my favorite part of this show. Special uh, delivery. You, you, you get you Thank get you. boba. I get Louisa, boba. Louisa, Louisa. Listen, Can this is what this show's done for me. I get boba <laughs> delivered whenever I want. Do I not? Thank you so much, Louisa. Everybody, thank Guys, you. Give it up for Louisa. Louisa, give it up for Louisa. Uh, I wanted a boba. I wanted a boba um, too. But yeah, it's been incredible. Incredible. Yeah, same. It's like. Um, you know, my, the big show that I did before Jujutsu Kaisen was a Disney show called Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Yes. And, yeah, woo woo. And uh, Marco Diaz. Uh, and by all intents and purposes, it was a huge hit for Disney. Yeah. Like, it was a big hit for them. And it was a very viral show for them. It had a huge online presence. The fan base was, like, very vocal. Uh, it pales in comparison to what has happened with Jujutsu Kaisen. Like, it, right. JJK is just... It's, it is literally a once-in-a-generation show. And I don't know if it's because, you know, it started airing during COVID when we were all stuck right. at home with nothing to do but consume media and stuff. And then on top of that, we had, like, us having time to watch. It was really good. And then, you mm -hmm. know, TikTok was sort of blowing up at that time. So a lot of content creators were talking about right. JJK and, like, the theories and the manga and all that stuff. And it's just created this like wildfire of an anime, and it's been, yeah, it it would be it would be silly for either of us to sit here and say that it's not life changing, even yeah. though we've done so much other stuff. So yeah. it's been really cool. Plus, like, you guys, you are spoiled with the dub cast of JJK, and I'm not oh talking about gosh. I'm not even talking about performance wise, like. 
we're so in this with you. Like, if you, like, for me, what I like when I see, like, for stuff that I'm a fan of is when the cast is, like, also into it or, like, yes, wants we, to talk about theories. Like, the group chat is popping off on leak night, on it, manga leak every night. Every single one of us is so deep in it at this point that, like, every time a new chapter releases, we're like, ah, ah, like, texting and like, ah, you know, like, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's incredible. That's so cool. Yeah, guys, it's been awesome. Guys, we're going to ask, if you have a few questions or anything, feel free to come up. I'm going to let... You see a microphone right yeah, there. Yeah, microphone's if you right there. I'm going to let Adam get his boba going. Oh, really fast, sorry, really fast. Just a preface for everyone's respect. Anime questions... Only. Yes, please. <laughs> if there are manga spoilers, please save them for the tables over there. Yeah, ask us at our table. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll talk about it, yes. but just not. We want to make sure no spoilers. We got to make sure and respect everyone on this. AOT was a little different. It was over and everything like this, but we are in, like you said, we are in the thick of it. Yeah. So, anime questions as spoiler free as possible. Now go. <laughs> yeah. Good. Just like I asked before, what's your favorite One Piece card? Favorite One Piece card? Okay, the easy answer would be the Manga Luffy, because it's so cool, the Gear 5 Manga Luffy. But I also really like the Law card that was, uh, the artist is Peach Momoko, it's from OP08. Um, and I really, I really am a big fan of Peach Momoko, so that's probably one of my favorites too. But the Manga Luffy, the Peach Momoko card, and then the signed Oda Luffy. I like the Thank Black you. Lotus, that's yeah, one piece, right? Yeah, it's a really yeah. good Yeah, it's a yeah, really good, really one, good piece one piece card. card. Yeah, it is the one piece. Yeah, yeah, yeah. KG yeah. has... How many magic cards would you say you have? Oh my god. I, I played Magic the Gathering literally since the conception of the game, so I've lost count. Uh, it, it, it's, pretty, it's pretty bad at this point. Where do you, where do you keep them all? <laughs> uh, Everywhere. Specifically. Some in storage. <laughs> yeah. like, I want to say 60% in storage, 40% next to the computer in my house so I can just start grabbing and like construct it. That's awesome. Like, 40%? That's a lot. Do you have a Black Lotus? Do you? No, it's no. actually it's it's in, uh, in my, on my bucket list to get the power okay. nine. Okay. I'm on the journey oh, right yeah, now. Yeah, the power nine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sorry, we're nerding out. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, hello. Hello. Um, so from the entire show so far, has there been any scene that has really hit you hard? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, God. season two was trauma. Uh, after, so it, yes, there was many uh, scenes in season two that hit me hard. I would say that every, every episode, yeah, every episode, they're, they're, <laughs> like like after we like when we're in it, like we're in it. Um, the stuff with Nanami, the stuff with Nobara, yeah. um, the stuff where Yuji's basically on the ground writhing in pain in the fetal position before Toto comes back. Um, all of that stuff was super hard, and then even even like the IMU scene. Uh, where Yuji's like walking down Mahito. Like all of that stuff was super impactful. There was like, there was a picture early on, like before we recorded of uh, Junya Noki, the Japanese seiyu for Yuji, um, on his hands and knees, like crying in the, or I don't know if he was crying, but he was on his hands and knees, like looking distraught. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's, that there was. There are many scenes. Yeah, yeah. There, that, was, uh, that was it. I never fully recovered from season two. My favorite character is Nanami of all time. He's the, <laughs> um, um, he that episode dropped on Thanksgiving when the when the show was running, and I was over at my in laws' house for Thanksgiving, and both me and my wife were just super depressed at the table, right? And my my in laws were like, "What's wrong with you guys? Did you have a fight?" And we're like, "No, you wouldn't get it." <laughs> <laughs> Nanami died. <laughs> we want to go to Malaysia. <laughs> no, he's in Malaysia. What we do you just, mean? We just, wanna, we just want to go to the beach. I was literally on Twitter. Like, they were previewing things. Oh, this was so foul. They previewed these scenes where he was in Malaysia, right? And he was having a great time. And I was, like, pleading on Twitter. It's like, stop the show. Stop the show right here. We don't need any more JJK. He's in Malaysia right now. Stop. Like, it was, you know. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Uh, what was the first, like, anime that you ever got into, like, that got you into anime? Like, as a fan? Yeah. Um, so I, I started way, way early uh, in, in, like, middle school and high school. Like, most people, like, we, I technically started off on Dragon Ball, right? Mm -hmm. But I was so young, I didn't realize it was, like, an anime anime, right? I just figured it was another cartoon. The first anime I sought out knowing it was anime was this show called Slayers. Slayers, Slayers Next, Slayers Try. Um, it's, it's an older show, still holds up really funny. It's like a fantasy um, comedy, takes itself just seriously enough to have a really good story, right? Um, 
back then though, you couldn't just go to a store and get anime. It was almost like a drug deal. You had to like go, you had to know the kid at school with the backpack full of VHSs, right? You meet them behind the yep. like bleachers and you're like, hey, what you got today? He's like, I got three episodes of Dragon Ball Z. You know, like, yeah, that was my experience. He, he was also the Dragon Ball Z narrator. He was, it was yeah, Kyle A. Bear, yeah. like, this time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Was it Slayer's Try, like TRI or TRY? TRY, TRY. Uh, so, so, did they, so they tried. They tried. They yeah, tried. Like they a tried. training. That's cool. They're yeah, just just trying to be Slayers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I came to anime like pretty late in the game. I'm, I, well, technically, when I was a freshman in high school, but I like an anime club. But I don't think I don't think we ever did anything. I don't even know if they ever <laughs> had a meeting. But I like signed up, but I just never went. Um, I think I got a free round my half poster. Hey, let's nice. go. Uh, hey, that's but nice. I never watched that's it, so I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I came to anime kind of late, like literally like maybe 2017, 2018, 2019, like somewhere in there. Literally right before JJK happened. Right before right. JJK. Um, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood was kind of my first one. That's, um, it's, it was amazing. I kind of, I feel like I started at the top and then worked my way sort of around it. Um, Noragami is another one that I really love. That was another one that I was like, oh, this is fun. Um, and then My Hero Academia. Yeah. And literally, I was watching My Hero Academia in 2019, and it was the scene, either the end of season three or four, when o the Overhaul arc was ending. So it was oh, Deku, yeah. Mirio, and Overhaul fighting. And I was watching this, and I was like, dang, it seems like these actors are having a really good time. I wonder why I've never auditioned for anime. Like, I wonder why. So I, like, reached out to my agent, and he was like, oh, yeah, we don't, like, really do anime. He's like, but let me see if I can, like, figure out how that would work for you. And literally six weeks later, I had an audition for My Hero Academia. I didn't get anything. And then my second anime audition ever was for JJK. That's wild. Yeah. Thank you. What an arc. Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, right? Thank you. This is specifically the Kaiji. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll answer too. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> Drink your boba. <laughs> <laughs> with season two's uh, Gojo, it starts off with see a lot younger, even more immature yeah. character, and then switching to Shibuya, so serious, so different. What was that like for you as a, a voice actor? How did you get into that? How did you present that? So, uh, yeah, it was. Um, so I was lucky enough to be familiar enough with the arc. I had read uh, in advance, right? Um, me and uh, Lex Lang, the voice actor for Gato, we actually had a conversation about it before we started filming the season, and we're like, you know, like obviously. Um, you know, I had just turned 40, and he's, he's, he's older too, so we're not exactly going to convince people we sound like teenagers, right? So we, it was supposed, it was more um, bringing the energy of youth to these characters. Um, that's when we had the conversation about the relationship, how they get along, and we had decided, as long as we play these characters as them being the most important people in each other's lives, I think it's going to come off okay. Um, so, Hidden Inventory was such a treat, because... You're right. We got to see Gojo at kind of his, like, young douchiest, right? And that was so much fun. Like, somehow even unfiltered Gojo, you know. Hello? Uh, hello? God? Remain seated, please. Yes. Permanece <laughs> sentados, por favor. But yeah, it was it was a it was a great experience. Um, I, I feel like it was it was such a beautiful arc, right? Really cinematic, um, and it really set the tone for the rest of the season. So yeah, I had I had a tremendous time doing that. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you both so much. Appreciate Thank you. Of course, dude. Of course. I also I really the thing I really liked about the hidden inventory arc is all the stuff that you just said totally came across, but that paired with, like, the slight animation difference. Yeah, the, it, it was, was brighter in tone, yeah, right? It was, it, was, it was really cool. Yeah. It was really cool. Hello. Uh, Hello. I was wondering, um, what are you most excited for for the next, you know, season three, if you guys could elaborate on that? Ooh. Spoiler free. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's a gray area, right? I don't know. Yeah. So Culling Games is coming up. Um, how do we talk about this without spoiling anything? Okay. You remember how, like, before season two, everyone was like, oh, the Shibuya incident. It's going to be the most peak season of anime you've ever seen. Like, it's going to be amazing, Shibuya. Okay. They were right, okay? Shibuya, <laughs> Shibuya was amazing. But I think the culling games, we start to expand the lore of the show. You start to get to know more of the world. Yeah. A lot of new characters are introduced. I think season three has the potential to be even more hype than Shibuya. And I think oh. that's saying a lot because I think Shibuya lived up to the hype. Yeah. So there, there is a lot, there's, 
two fights I am very specifically <laughs> very excited about. Um, one of them happens really early. Will happen really early on in season three. Sorry, I'm keeping this spoiler free. <laughs> one of them will happen really on uh, early on, and then another one happens. <sighs> How do I say it? There's a there's a there's a lawyer. It's involved. hard to talk. There's okay? a lawyer involved. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer involved. I'm very so, excited about that so, fight as well. <laughs> so, so one suffers legal legal uh, prosecution. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah so uh, I'm I'm excited for those two. Keeping that as spoiler free. Yeah, possible. there's a there's a comedian dude coming up. That's my second favorite character aside from Nanami in the entire show. That I'm so psyched for. Um, uh, I, I can't wait to see what they do with them. I can't wait to see how they animate it, dude. There's it's so gonna, many good moments. Yeah. Um, and and Mappa epic. has been like just killing it to the point where we're worried about their health, you know, but uh, I'm sure they're going to make it look incredible, so I'm, I'm psyched. Yeah. yeah. Actually, awesome. side note, so there was a, an animator from MAPPA that, oh, I, right. th yeah, that yeah. I connected with, um, I don't even know, maybe like a year ago now, and she was finally out in L.A. for Anime Expo, and the whole JJK cast, I was like, yo, can we take you to lunch? Like, come get lunch with us. So we got to have lunch with one of the animators on JJK, which oh. is really cool. She was like, they never do this in Japan. Like, we don't ever get this. <laughs> and I was like, please, we want to, like, welcome you to the States and, like, have a good time. So we got to sit down. We were asking questions about the... I was there for like, 18 minutes. Yeah, KG, <laughs> KG was in between sessions, so he was ve there very briefly. Uh, like two bites of soup and gone. I know, right? But um, yeah, she's lovely, and uh, the crew at Mappa is like very excited for season three. Production is in full swing, so that's awesome. Yeah, we're 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 all pretty hyped about it. I had a question about um, line changes in like season two, season one. Do you have any interesting stories about it? Because it's different from the Japanese dub and the manga. Um, so I, I had a couple. Uh, the the most. Uh, Famous one being the Throughout Heaven and Earth one. Yeah. It wasn't a line change. It was just the English version didn't fit the Japanese lip flaps because the Japanese version is so short, right? right? So we had to do this thing where we took the Throughout Heaven and Earth line and moved it to the previous scene and then went into it for the rest of it because otherwise we had to change it, right? I pitched um, from the ground to the sky, I am that guy. That got rejected. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we could have had it all. Uh, but yeah, and there was also the loser line, right? That had to be improv because it also didn't fit. Um, we would have gone back to, to rewrite it, but I was halfway through the line performing it, and I just sort of tacked it on there just to see if it would fit. It did, and they kept it. Oh, so, I love it. Yeah. Thank y'all so much. Thanks, Thanks, dude. When is season three supposed to come out? Tuesday. Next year. <laughs> yeah. uh, Tuesday what? next year. What? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday okay. next year. Tuesday next year. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Yeah. Awesome. What is y'all's all-time favorite... <laughs> Favorite anime show? Ooh. All time favorite anime. Probably, it's probably Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, but I really like Noragami. Noragami is also really good. Um, it's, it's probably going to be Slayers for me. Slayers and uh, maybe Doraemon, but mostly Slayers. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hi, um, I'm wondering if you guys could come up with your own type of domain expansion, what would it be called? Oh, oh man, Donate. domain expansion, Infinite Boba. <laughs> <laughs> Domain expansion. Nap in the afternoon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's very. That's a very forty of you answer. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so just to piggyback off of that, can I please get a domain expansion and a black flash? Domain expansion, infinite void. Black flash. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Dude. I only would do that for my besto friendo. Best friendo. What's your favorite kind of character to play? Like, what's your favorite kind of archetype? The good boy. <laughs> the good boy, golden retriever. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like a, uh, uh, I like a character who's who's kind of smart, but also just stupid enough. You know, like a nice mix of smart and stupid. Because it's it's that's where a lot of the whimsicality comes from from a lot of these characters. Is like the good amount of stupid. You know, I like a tall character. With, with a nice big ass. <laughs> <laughs> For everyone here, can you hit the crying line? You crying? Yeah. You're welcome. Perfect. My turn, my turn. Thank you. Are you having tears? <laughs> You're welcome. Perfect way to end it. Guys, give it up for Adam and KG. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys. for the rest of the day. Come say hi.